What's up StarCraft fans? It is time once again to revisit a prestige. So last time we did Statboy P2, which uh, was basically another uh, best hero commander uh, video thingy. Now we will do P1 Raider as you guys requested. Uh, this was the most, uh, the most upvoted comment. Uh, so let's do this one. We will do speed increases for drop pod units, Banshee airstrike cooldown, and uh, medic skill additional targets. Basically, the the bio buffs. Also, the banshees are just good splash damage to add. Uh, my ally and Kalagan will be playing slash idling as level five avatar, and the map will be part and parcel. So thank you to Bean Veteran, Carry On Queen, and Darth and Shadow Archon who are supporting me in the post cannon tier, and thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. So we're gonna see what uh, enemy composition we get. Uh, so the thing about part and parcel is. There are two parts to the objective. The first part to this map is we will need to collect parts to reactivate the bal the balius. So to do that, we'll ha we'll we'll have to break boxes pre pl pre placed all around the map. Uh, there are uh, neutral neutral uh, units. Yeah, these minerals. boxes. We'll have to break these boxes down. Okay, enemies not zerg. The so the way to see the way to see if the enemy zerg is if there's creep on the map. If there's creep on the minimap, enemy zerg. If not, it's not zerg. Now that we know it's not zerg, we'll, we can actually determine what race it is. To do that, we have to attack the rocks. So, as you can see, as soon as I start attacking the rocks, the uh, enemy composition shows itself. This will be Reaver Disruptor, which is kind of painful for Raynor, but we just we just uh, yeah we just play through it. So. Uh, how this works is whenever you, whenever on this map you attack the rocks, the or the bosses, the enemy race will reveal itself if it's Protoss. That means if you attack the box and you see no enemy race and there's no creep, the enemy is Terran. Uh, oof, yeah, this one's yeah. Anklagen knows this one's pretty tough for uh, Raynor P1. I'll probably have to make a lot of uh, marauders for this uh, for this competition. And yeah, my alley knows. My alley knows. All right, I'll start the barracks here. So normally, as Raynor P uh, P zero and P two and P three even, you want to start your orbital command as fast as possible. That is not a big priority for me in this map, because uh, the orbital commands do not have mules. There is no point, really, to rushing any of this, uh, uh, any of these orbital commands. It'd be uh, pretty difficult for me actually to control myself, stop myself from getting the, uh, uh, the orbital commands because it's kind of a, a knee-jerk reaction. Like, I, I always tell people, whenever you play as Raynor, rule number one, rule number one is Raynor, is to break. Or is to start your orbital command whenever it's available. It's gonna be pretty hard to stop myself from doing it, basically. Okay. I'm gonna some bio quickly. We will want, we'll want a tech lab for that. Start this. We'll go triple backs. Alright. Oh, not there. <laughs> Alright, let's keep making workers. Okay, that's gonna head toward my allies base. I will build a bunker thing here. Okay, lift off. Equal back. We have just a few moments left to kill this hybrid bastard. Alright. Oh, we'll let it die. Okay. Yeah, first first wave of derp's not too bad. All right. Let's break this. Okay. All right. I will uh, send this command center here. Okay, start that. 
I will send this thing here. There's another piece of static transfer, so I'll break this. Oh, I can unpower the, the pylons. Or the cannons, that'd be really good. So I'll just uh, move command the things there. Alright. Alright. It's nice. Let's start breaking this area. Alright. Let's continue getting these. All right, cool. Oh, let's take an expansion, that's nice. Alright. Let me start a factory. This. Got an enemy attack coming for our base. Stay frosty. Next wave's gonna be It's gonna come with sentries. That's actually fine. Okay, yeah, just build this. Just build these. Okay, smash these, just deal with that splash. Okay. Get double gas. Alright. <laughs> I like how, uh, how my allies parking and stuff on my side, which is it's all fine. It's all fine. Okay, it looks like we cleaned up the... Uh, the enemies. That's good. That is actually good. Let's get the custom shells. That is probably gonna round up our. Uh, it's probably gonna round up our. Uh, our upgrades. Okay, 62. Need eight more parts. Alright. Leave Ooh. None alive. <laughs> the closet and killing my bio. That's pretty funny. Alright. Nice. Oh, I need to, uh. Be nice if my ally didn't block my. Alright. Cool. Let's keep making workers. Alright. Harvest these. Probably don't need this much to be honest. There we go. Two should be fine. All right. Start moving towards here. I'll need a lot of marauders, like a lot of marauders. Okay, I will get double engineer bay. It'd be so nice if my ally didn't block my uh, block my vision of my own base. Okay, stim the marauders. Okay. Ready for action. I'm approaching the hybrid's containment cell. We got enemy forces inbound on our base. All right, smash these. That's a lot of marauders. That's a lot of marauders. Okay, I think this one will have immortals. To be a, a bit rougher. Rougher. Okay. Start getting some dudes here. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna have marauders. This could be a little, a little tricky. <laughs> marauders win. That's pretty funny. Anyway, let me get plus one. Attack, plus one armor. The plus the plus one's gonna be really important here. All right. All right. Keep shooting. Keep shooting at these fools. Okay. Yeah. Keep making workers. Oh wow, this guy's stuck. Rip. All right. Stim, stim, stim. Win, win, win. I should start breaking down this area. At the very least, this specific hybrid is a pain in the butt. This specific hybrid is a pain in the butt. All right. That hybrid's dead, but it almost took the Valius with it. All right. Spend some time restoring it. 
Smash that. All right. Get more. Okay. Oh, keep this moving. Keep this thing moving. Yeah. So the Hyperion does more damage when it's in motion. So ideally, I wanna uh, keep it moving. Just literally keep it moving. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, let's collect these. Notice I have just three backs powering everything. I think now might be the time to uh, uh, start getting a couple orbitals just for scans. All right. I probably don't should even harvest gas anymore. Oh. You guys should. Uh, oh, what are you guys doing here? Yeah, everyone, go get a, go, go get some gas. All right. Got, a, got another attack wave heading over here. That's good. That's nice because I don't have to really go far to. Uh, oh, let me. Uh, okay, I got a bigger concave. All right. Okay. We should start moving down here. Okay, yeah, smash this. Okay, try not to get these shot down so early. Alright. I will, I will, don't worry. I'll get it. Okay, collect these. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Collect these. How many more parts do we need? How many more? Ten more? Okay. Let me see if I can find that ten for you. It's probably there. There's more. There's more here. So, but yeah, I can I can help along with that. Okay. Stim again. Keep fighting. Okay. Keep going. Hey. Okay. <laughs> this is nuts. All right. Nice. Scum could meet their fate like that. All right. Ra we're maxing out. We're reaching the pinnacle of our power level. All right. I can't wait to get Storm and just stand in the middle of the storm. Yeah, yeah, Storm me. Storm me if you can. <laughs> See if I care. All right. All right. Collect all these parts. All right. Get these buildings. All right. Oh, reverse. You know what? It's probably better that they kind of auto split. It's actually pretty nice for me. Uh oh. Huh? Okay. That happened. This is General Davis reporting in. The Valius is on. I just, I just got to be careful of. <laughs> what are these guys doing? <laughs> I have no what I have no idea what those are doing there. They like get away. Uh, whatever. It actually doesn't matter. Let me get the armor first. Okay. Ah. Uh, didn't quite get it. I think now it's time to start the extra barracks. The extra barracks is in case I, I, I drop my army en masse. Which, are probably what, which is probably what will happen. Okay, it's a spawning hybrid. Gotta burst these down. Alright. 
We're, st we're actually fine. Yeah. I have 2-2 two, two on my bio. So it's not... It's not your grandpa's bio, guys. It is Raynor's P1 bio. It's gonna be pretty tough to kill all these things. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Stay in the bio? I'm fighting off screen. I'm fighting off screen. Okay. Alright. <laughs> just died. It just teleported here and died. Alright. Alright. We're still fighting. Okay. I get these. Okay. Keep stimming. I should probably get more Marins. So yeah. Uh, normally. Uh, normally. Reaver Disruptor is pretty bad. For uh. For Raynor to fight, but I got a lot of Marauders. This is, this is actually really helping out. Like, no joke, we're actually... Okay, they have plus 3 shields now, but doesn't even matter. It actually doesn't even matter. Alright. My medics are out of energy, so I should probably uh, make new medics. You thought I was gonna say conserve my stems, didn't ya? Ha ha ha. Well, well, well. We have enough pods for launch. All right. Well, we'll push into Combat here. Systems are up and running. Safety test still pending, so be. Part and parcel actually is one of my favorite maps, mostly because of General Davis. She's like the opposite of Diver Million. See, she's shrill. She's uncool. She's a military person. She's selfish. Not like Donnie, ever the altruist who only cares about the good of the Dominion and his viewers, of course. Okay. Maybe I should start. Uh... Yeah, I should start making more Marins. Okay, start to set these. Let the hybrid storm that. Let's see if I care. Okay. They actually think their storm is doing anything. Must hive okay. I just follow that. Okay. Okay, just. Yeah. Just keep smashing these. Oh wow. <laughs> they're actually hitting. They're actually hitting the Belias. Okay. That's a bit feels bad, man, but you know what? I'm here, that's all that matters. Can't, can't believe the Belias is still. It has 60 health, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> oh, it's, it has 60 health. That is pretty insane. Okay. 3 3 by 325 health on the Marauder. 137 health on the Marin. This is nuts. Alright. Okay. Uh oh, there goes our there goes all our healing. Oh, it's a spawning hybrid. Oh oh this could be insane. This could be inhumane. Alright. Valius died. Yes, I know, I know. I can see. I'm not blind. I can see pretty well what's going on. I can see how useless you are. General Davis. Alright. GG. Nice. I was a little more hectic than usual because bio is just hectic by nature. But it still works because 
from my army has double life. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea of what else you can do, please leave that in the comment. Let's see the score screen. Yeah, this, uh, this is probably one of the most difficult enemy compositions, specifically for Raynor to fight. But with my with the help of my top bars and uh, I guess macro, macro also helped. I got my expansion not that early, but still kind of early. So uh, I still was able to power up in time, get my 3 3 upgrades, get uh, to max to max supply, and a bunch of marauders. I saw an enemy's Protoss and I went a lot of marauders. The key here is countering the enemies you see, it's a lot of reverse and disruptors. So I went for uh, well. Actually, just Protoss in general. Protoss in general, you would have a lot of Marauders since they have a lot of stuff that are armored. So Marauders, you would have used them to get more damage on the armor. Also, the Concussive Shell is really helpful. If you're if you're up against Zerg, you want a few more uh, hel uh, Fire Butts. The Fire Butts are really good against the Zerg Zergling type compositions. Being a Scourge, you want to have Fire Butts against those. Maybe a, still, maybe a few Marauders still for the Hybrids and the Ultralisks. And yeah, the, the the armored stuff that they have. For Terran, the pens, if you're up against Vi Bio, maybe add a few fire butts to tank mostly, but Marauders and Marines. Pretty good. Anyway, you can see that uh wait. You collected one part! You collected one part! How dare you! How dare you! No, not a true solo. Feels bad, man. Oh, I collected one part. <laughs> Not a solo redo. Oh man. Let me actually check the uh, Maguro score screen to see if. Uh, uh, or to see how many each unit type killed. Come on. So, Marauders killed three. 362, yeah, I made all the Marauders, like, I made 71 Marauders. Funnily enough, check this out, I made more Marines than Marauders. But I still had more kills from Marauders. And it did look like I did have more Marauders. How many, how many survived in the end? I had, like, 36 Marauders survive in the end. And had, like, 40. No, 30. 30 Marines survive at the end. So I had, despite making more Marines, I had more Marauders survive. That's just a that's, that's just a testament to how tanky the Marauders are with P1. Um, Duskwings, very much worth their weight in gold with 104 kills, despite uh, only calling them down 9 times. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright guys, let me know which prestige you want to see next uh, in the poll that was already up on my channel in my community page specifically. And I will see you guys next time.